Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for dropping by today. We have this carport right here that was um, had a general contractor come in and put an end wall on it. So that way we can put a garage door in here. It was wide open. And the client was having problems with, you know, rodents getting in and chewing wires up on his motorcycle and, you know, just causing havoc. You know, which chew up some wires on a motorcycle, that's going to cost, cost some money, you know. So we're going to eliminate that today. I'm going to put this 14 by 7 in and uh, get him all nice and closed up. Let's go check it out on the inside. So like I said, it's a, it's a carport. You know, kind of see the structure. There's an end wall on this end, you know, with a man door, but uh, this, this end right here was wide open. Got this 14 by 7 ready to go up. Just got the final trim up. Want to get after it. Looks like it might be a little bit tight. Thank God I got some 12 inch radius tracking where it curves, you know, I don't want the door hitting the ceiling. We'll see. After I get the door in, we're gonna put up this Chamberlain Model B4545. It's got the video camera. This sucker is ultra quiet, three quarter horsepower. Got all the goodies that comes with it. So, all right, I'm gonna get a cracking on it. Okay, so I got a panel in there. And I did a little measuring, and if you're unsure if you know you're going to, if your drum's going to hit the ceiling, because that's the highest point is the drum. You know, listen, what you can do, you can lay your track out. You know, put your flag on, put your end bearing plate. You know, put your drum where it's supposed to go. You know, just lay it out on the floor, and then you can take a tape measure, hook it on the bottom, run it all the way to the top of the drum and that's going to give you you know the max height of this so then you take that number with the number that you have right there and uh, you know just minus the difference if you have to cut you know inch and a half two inches off in this case i got to go a little bit more i'm going to have to end up making some different cables because obviously seven foot cables are going to be long and uh we'll kind of see what the spring does with the balance out um may have to re weigh it and uh, you know see if that's correct but uh, I think everything's gonna fall out just fine I got to cut a little bit more than I like off the bottom of the vertical but you know you just sometimes you know it is what it is you got to make it happen make it work come up with a game plan solution execute but let me get after it cut these tracks and that way I can start stacking and tracking Alrighty, got her all done. So this is a 14 by 7 CHI 2250 uh, sandstone color Yeah, it's like 105 degrees here today in Texas. Being in this carport, it was super duper hot. So I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Kelso for this fan. Uh, man, he saved the day with this. There you go, guys. Ended up needing to use quick turn brackets because, you know, cutting down that track, I cut, uh, you know, about two and a half inches off the bottom. So I cut some vertical off down there and kind of had to do the bearing plate a little bit differently. Had to scoot it this way a little more took the grinder cut this part off so that way I was able to move the bearing that way towards the wall a little bit yeah this was this was a little bit of a challenge I mean I had to retrofit this stuff so well, let's give it a ride Got the Chamberlain in there. Video camera, so that way we can point this thing at the door and um, we'll make sure no one's messing around. Or you can swing it around, point it at this walk door over here. As you can see, the quick turn brackets. Turn, woo! Missed that drum. Yes, sir.
Yeah, if you got a carport, you may want to uh, think about converting it if it doesn't have a, a gable end on it. This job was super duper fun, and uh, look forward to doing the next one where I got to use my noggin. Hey, thanks for following along. Peace out, Cub Scouts.